The belongs to the, to the apostles of GMS and honor to you, brothers, doing the work of the most high truth and in sincerity. So, when inspired from, um, uh, you had a geezer come up to the camp, uh, yesterday, and he was, uh, basically saying he was, he was scoffing. His, it was two of them. One was kind of what one was more listening, and we believe that particular one to have been a J. The other, he was, you know, he was, he was just scoffing, man, right? Um, this is our wild animals. He basically, he basically started speaking about how there ain't no, uh, you know, there, there are no lions here. There are no lions in the UK. I would point it out that, yeah, well, yeah, there are lions in the zoos. And in that day, like the Lord is going to have it whereby certain of these animals are going to escape from their zoos, right? You know, the Lord might just send an angel to pick the lock. The door gates open and, you know, these animals just come out, Right? I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm saying that it could happen, right? Because the Lord is all about uh, uh, sparking terrors in these last days, right? Uh, he is known as the King of Terrors. So I found this article from 2016. So you can obviously imagine numbers have changed up or down um, in the four years since. This is wild animals at UK homes include lions, zebras and crocodiles. And that's from the BBC News. Um, it says more than 300 cobras, vipers, rattlesnakes are being kept in UK homes. Okay. Um, it says more than 100 councils have issued licenses to people who keep undomesticated animals at home. A freedom of information request by the Press Association News Agency found. It also showed more than 300 cobras, vipers and rattlesnakes are being kept. Says um uh, the license found licenses for pumas, lynxes, ocelots, lemurs, vipers, ostriches, an assortment of wild cats have been issued in Cornwall. Wolves, alligators, caiman crocodiles, black hooded spiders, venomous snakes, and short clawed otters are being kept in central Bedfordshire. Right, Canuck Chase Council has issued license for three tigers and two lions. Right, says among the most dangerous pets are lem lemurs. Lemurs, really? A small primate, one hundred and fifteen of of which are kept in domestic settings. Oh, the most popular, dangerous. So I, I, I misread that. Um, I thought it said the most dangerous pets are lemurs. Like lemurs, okay, fair enough. But um, yeah, fifteen wolves are registered at UK addresses. Even have bison, four hundred and twelve bison, and more than two thousand wild boar live in private fields in the UK, along with the score of zebras, right? Um, it says dangerous wild animals licenses are required to keep animals that are considered to be wild, dangerous, or exotic. Again, there you just see a little uh, a graphic of all of this. So two thousand bison, four hundred two thousand wild boar, four hundred twelve bison, three hundred plus venomous snakes, one hundred forty five ostriches, one hundred fifteen lemurs, fifteen wolves, thirteen tigers, ten alligators, so nine pumas, nine crocodiles, eight leopards, seven cheetahs, and two lions. Right now, left to their own devices, I don't know if the you know Esau you know neuters these animals or whatever or have you stopped them uh, 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 reproducing, but uh, these are just the ones that have been documented as being in the UK somewhere like the UK. Who knows whether things have been snuck into the country by other means, right? Whether it's someone on a private jet, you know, the, the different rules apply when it comes to to people coming in. Um, uh, into the country in different ways, okay. But hey, you know, for him to have been saying that there are no lions, there are no basically these these kind of wild animals that that just wasn't factually accurate, right? Because England has doesn't really have a lot of those kinds of animals, but even still, there have been sightings of lynxes, sightings of um, you know, di different animals. You know, I, f I forget all of them. Right, but time for the scriptures, second is five and eight says there shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be oft sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. Okay, so we're gonna start seeing more and more wild beasts coming out from their hidden places. Right, because for all we know, the Lord may have had uh, uh you know one you know one <laughs> One bugged out Ishmaelite sneak a lion into the country. That lion has cubs and he's been uh, hiding in a forest somewhere, waiting for 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 the time to come out and basically do what it's going to do. Or a leopard, 
Like why while, while I was thinking Ishmael, like, this is kind of wild shit them <laughs> them heathens would do, right? You know, but in that time they might you know, Lord, Lord might have it whereby these animals start come well, the Lord is gonna have it where these animals are gonna start moving around. You even saw that in lockdown, but you know, what was less your dangerous animals, but you saw it during the lockdowns, you had certain animals basically just roaming the streets like they own the streets. Okay, there's a nice lockdown one. And once again, in these last days, that's going to be happening uh, uh, again. This is Jeremiah 15 and 3. It says, and I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord Yahweh, the sword to slay and the dogs to tear and the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. Okay, so the Lord is going to basically put the spirit in certain of these animals. You might have a, a guy who owns a dog and he, he's like, yeah, my, my dog's vicious. Yeah, he might have been using that dog to terrorize other people. And the Lord may have the spirit jump on the dog to terrorize him. Because at the end of the day, the Lord controls all of, all of these animals. You think about that woman, I forgot, um, the woman that had the monkey. And then the monkey was okay one minute. And then the monkey just turned and ripped her face off. I forget her name. Right, but the Lord can do that. Right. It says now Sirach 39, 28, points in uh, 30, says there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. So once again, who created these spirits? Yah Bashim Yahshai created these spirits. You read, um, I believe what Sirach 18, right? It basically says that the most high, uh, all things obey his will. Right? So there's nothing that, that uh, isn't in the control of Yah Bashim Yahshai. So there is a no... Uh, a Satan who 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 fights against the most sign isn't down with the program. No, 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 no. All things obey the will of Yah Bashem Yah Shai. Okay. Um says which in their fury lay on sore strokes, right? In the time of the destruction. So when when this the time is ready for them to be used, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Why? Because a scripture says the eyes of the Lord are upon a sinful kingdom, right? Referring first to children of Israel, but now it can be applied to like America. Right when when the Lord is seeing all this wickedness happening in the earth, it irks him. So what does he have to do? He has to balance it off by by undoing those sinners, right? By by giving them the recompense of their actions. Now the beauty of this situation is Esau has made these people godless. So when they do see these things happening, what do they say? Oh, it's just global warming. Oh, it's just this. It's just that. But never. And then you tell them, no, nah, it's a judgment of the Most High. What they do, they, they laugh and they scorn. But it is the judgment of the Most High. Okay. It's which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of a destruction, they pour out the force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hail and famine. So you've been seeing all these forest fires. You, uh, we began the year with large forest fires. Right in over there in in, in Australia, when it says uh, hell, and even had a, a a freak on one part of Australia, it was having a, a forest fires, and other part was having freak hailstones. Right, and famine, which is being engineered right now, um, by way of this coronavirus situation, and also you having a load of um, I had a load of locusts in the middle of the air as well. It says and death, all of these were created for vengeance, and mass death is coming upon the earth. You read Second Ezra sixteenth chapter, it says how uh, the dead shall be cast out as dung, basically meaning they're just going to be too made. Right now, what someone dies, where you you you've ever walked past like a crime scene, like someone dies, well you've got the blue tent, you've got you know loads of cop cars, loads of cops, basically blocking the street off. In that day, it, 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 oh he dead. You walk down a road, another one dead. Right next to next to him across the road, three more people dead. That's how it's going to be in these last days. Right? Um, it says, a teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents, right? And the sword punished the wicked to destruction. As you can see, one of the most popular dangerous animals in the UK is these venomous snakes, man. Right, once again, don't know if the, you know, they, they've uh, neutered them, but the most I can make it whereby the neutering didn't work. And they can reproduce and just carry on making more and, uh, 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 you know, causing havoc. Right now, in a natural, because uh, I remember watching like a documentary on, it wasn't, I forgot whether it was alligators or crocodiles. I'm um, going to forget the difference. <clears throat> but basically, it's something like an alligator will have like, lay like 70 eggs, but the majority of them never make it to maturity because other animals end up eating them eggs. So maybe, you know, let's say for argument's sake, like 35 actually make it, or if, if, if even that, 
right? Now, that's in an environment, in their natural environment, where there are other animals that will eat the eggs. But you think about somewhere like here, where there aren't any other animals to eat those eggs. That's 70 new alligators that have just been introduced into into in, into the um into the ecosystem right so the lord the lord the lord can do anything in these last days but all we do know for sure is it's going to be a it's going to be interesting right let's just put it that it's going to be interesting right um and i believe i've got one more this is our wisdom eleven eighteen. says or unknown wild beasts full of rage newly created breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy scents or scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparks out of their eyes Right now, this this sounds you like your, uh, you know, when you watch um, uh, what was 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 this one called? What's that film? Ah, uh, Le- uh, not Le- he's supposed to, it's on Leviathan. Um, what's this film? What's this film? Godzilla, right? You see one of the animals is all you know shooting, you know, fire out of its mouth and this, that, and the other. Hey, the Lord, hey. T- creatures newly created right this is the time as no this judgment as the scripture says is going to be like a time uh, never before seen on earth this is daniel's 12 and 1 it says and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and it shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the in the book now the time that we're coming is a time of trouble Right, this is going to be a destruction like no other destruction before on earth, okay? But the elect of the children, <clears throat> children of Israel, are going to be delivered from this destruction. So we're going to be all right, lords. Will we be of that number, okay? Yes, yeah, some of us are going to have to uh, go into them concentration camps and be beheaded. But hey, scripture says some of some of you, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Right now, we don't know whether. Uh, 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 that's going to be us So we have to prepare our minds As if that is going to be us Because the last thing we want to be Is ill prepared Okay um, But yeah As always Lord's will I was edifying Till the next time Shalom